run. So he's going to have to pull it a couple times to get out there on the, on the field. Quick pass out in the flat. It's caught, and Doss has it. He has some yardage. Doss across the sticks for a first down. That's the exciting freshman out of Georgia, Asante Doss. He wears number 11. He's reminiscent of Josh Tomas, who used to wear that number. Yeah, and it's interesting to see both guys are built kind of similarly, and they do a lot of the same things, catch and run guys. That's a great supplement to your run game to get the ball in those hands of these guys pretty quickly and let them do things after the catch. It's funny, Rob Spencing, he's kind of a cross between Creighton and Tomas. Looks pretty good. And Brunel will keep, and he does this time, and it doesn't work. I forgot we're dealing with smart guys, right? <laughs> they figured it out. They finally pulled, and Brunel was going to run, and they sniffed it out right away and got the stop for a, a loss. You see right there, Brunel had the right idea because they were just crashing down on the run plays. So he was like, you know what? I'm just going to pull it. I'm going to have access to the sideline. But, man, these guys from the Ivy League are, are pretty, pretty on point, right? Nothing get past them. Nate Leskovec with a five-yard loss on that tackle. Going down the sideline. Doss makes the catch. Doss in the open field to be brought down at the 15-yard line as Herring came over. But Asante Doss, two big plays to get things going for the Hoyas. That's a great throw by Joe Brunel, man. He put enough air underneath it to where Tomas could continue to fight with that defensive back, free himself, stack him, and did get down the field to get the football. So I love the passing game from Georgetown so far in this game, even going back to the first series. They're throwing the football really well. And Brunel getting protected pretty well. First and 10, Brunel rolls out, looking in the flat. No one's open, got to get rid of it. He throws it up and Creighton, excuse me, Tomas tries to make the catch as a good play out of the secondary. Dossie comes over the top and knocks it away. I thought he may have had Creighton earlier in the progression. But he kind of let him go through and, and move, move out the way. But he tried to get Tomas on the corner. But he put the ball where it needed to be. If it's not going to be caught, it's going to be knocked away and going completely out of bounds. So smart, heady play right there by Joe Brunel. But I thought he had Creighton earlier in the progression. Moultrie back with Brunel as still 10 seconds on the play clock. So time for an audible here. But... Got to move down to five. Will they get it off? They will with one on the play clock. Brunel being pressured. They'll try to throw the screen, but instead just throws it at the feet of Moultrie as pressure was coming in on him. Nice play call. You normally don't see screens this low inside the red zone, but that would have been the perfect time to call it in this situation. They just couldn't get it set up properly because the running back got tied up with the, in the line of scrimmage by the defensive line. They, again, sniffed it out and sort of kept the running back busy to where it threw off the timing of the entire play. This front by Harvard. They are rugged, and they are getting in the backfield. Boy, his precision passing game working better than the things that are taking a little longer time. Third and ten, Brunel gets away from one man. Looks to throw in the corner, and he has a touchdown. Is it a touchdown? It is. And guess who? Josh Tomas gets the Hoyas in the end zone. If I'm getting my grade book out, you have a lot of pluses and checks on this play. You have great pocket mobility by Brunel getting up in the pocket, then getting outside, getting the shoulders flipped. And a great job by Tomas to recognize it's a scramble drill situation. Let me help my quarterback out, gets to that pylon, gets in, inside of it, and does a great job in hauling that catch. So just a great play all around from both quarterback and receiver. Excellent drive. Henry, it's a mirror image, but he looked a little like the old man on that one. Exactly, right? 